Thank you for staying tuned. Uh, right now, we're going to be having a conversation with a very interesting person, a representative of Tasty Fried Chicken. It's such a pleasure to have you in the studio with us this morning, ma'am. Thank you very much for having us. Great. Uh, so uh, there's, there's a lot to talk about uh, regarding uh, Tasty Fried Chicken. Uh, but one thing that interests many people is the existence Okay. of uh, Tasty Fried Chicken. Tell us about the story behind it. Okay, um, Tasty Fried Chicken was started by our group managing director, Mrs. Olayinka Pamela Adedayo. Um, she has, she loves cooking, she loves feeding people. So she came up, she had worked ab abroad in a similar environment. So she decided to start a catering outfit here in 1989. And from there, the Tasty group was um, established and it just grew mm. and now we have tasty fried chicken we have the bakery we have event halls various um, arms of the business that makes up the tasty group now i'm very curious about your role as a ceo yes yeah so what exactly does that uh, symbolize okay um like i said uh, mrs adidaya is the group managing director i'm the um chief operations officer so basically i run the operations and um, try and make sure that the business is efficient and profitable and that involves all aspects of the business production finance uh, and um, all that okay so what, what are the you know what are the requirements to manage a qsr for example ah yes um for the quick service um, restaurant business there are three main qualities that I would say you need. And that is encapsulated in our core values in Tasty, which is quality. You know, you have to have quality products first. And then there's the service, because quick service restaurants is in the hospitality business and cleanliness. Hygiene is very, very important because if you're feeding people, you need to be sure that you're um, serving wholesome food. So basically those are the three main um, the most important aspects, there's a capital, it's quite capital intensive if you want to do a world class, you know, quick service restaurant and um, staffing. Mm. So if you get those, first and foremost, the quality of the food, if you get those right, it, sh it should be okay. Okay, because I know running a chain of outlets can be very challenging. Mm. And so I can imagine why getting the correct staff, like the right staff, yes. the the right hands and sourcing for the right type of food and all can be very important yes. and talking about food that brings me to managing your restaurants considering the current uh, inflation how have you been managing to stay afloat yes um it, it's not peculiar to nigeria inflation has just gone wild yes. and it's the world over you know because of covid the ukraine war you know all, all those aspects um so it is Challenging is the word I'd use. So you have to be innovative and technology comes in here and that, that helps a lot to be able to oversee 14 outlets spread um, all over the, the, um, the, the country. And all that. Yes, so technology is very important. It, it, it really helps. And um, being abreast of the current pricing, being innovative with your um, recipes, still maintaining the quality that the public expect. Mm. Okay. And then lies in with the government, because you can't do it alone. There's always a lot that Absolutely. the government, you know, the power situation, cost of diesel, it, it's challenging. Mm. But we're keeping our heads afloat. I'm a huge fan of uh, your crispy chicken. I've loved it since my cousin's fifth birthday back wow. in the 90s. Wow, wow, wow. I'm no kidding. <laughs> and somehow you've managed to maintain that recipe like, no matter what restaurant I go into, mm. it's the same quality. How have you been able to pull that off? We have a very, very strong quality control department. Um, I sometimes tell them that they're my boss <laughs> because I cannot take financial decisions that would, ex uh, that would affect uh, the quality. They're very, we're very stringent on the, on the um, um, ingredients and... Um, adherence to recipe and all that. So having that strong quality control department that is independent has really helped us to maintain the same standard across board.
Mm. 30 years is a long time to run a business. Yes. And it's, your business has managed to survive so many storms. Mm. I'm just curious, especially for business owners or watching our people in restaurant business that mm. want to learn a thing or two from you. What would you say has been the secret to your success as a company? You have to, like I said, you have to monitor the trends. Um, when we started, we were more like a family business, um, get towards children and family gatherings. But over the years, we've realized that the demographic has changed. We're now having more kind of younger people, young teenagers, young adults. Mm -hmm. And obviously their taste buds are different. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep changing our, our menu, mm -hmm. making sure that we have products that they're interested in, you know, like the burgers, the shawarma, um, and that's one of the reasons why we've introduced the breaded chicken, uh -huh. which is a new one that we're doing now. And, um, you know, with the economic um, challenges that are ongoing now, we also realise that people's um, purchasing power has kind of changed. Mm. Uh, so we're trying to introduce still quality, mm -hmm. still tasty, mm -hmm. but more pocket-friendly um, products. Pocket friendly will make many people happy. Yes. Considering the economy. Yes. And uh, you, you mentioned breaded chicken already. Yeah. But there's also the Boma meal. Boma meal. What, what's that about? Okay. Um, you know, this trend of the value meal packs started, I think we started it when my late um, ED, uh, Mr. Bumi Adidayo, introduced the value meal. We called it the value meal then. And it was a pack of rice and chicken and um, it went for 500 naira at that time. So we've, we've um, kind of redone it now, okay. obviously, because things are more expensive. It's, about, it's a bit difficult to do it for that 500 naira. Mm -hmm. So now we have the Boomer Mill, which is basically a reintroduction of our value mill. And it starts from like 600 naira. Okay. So you can get something for 600 naira and all the way up to 850 naira. Mm. And we're actually running a promo right now mm. that you buy a value meal, um, sorry, boomer meal, mm -hmm. and you get a free drink. And you get a free drink? Yes. Okay, so what's in the boomer meal? Um, no. Like the 600 naira? Yeah, uh, we have fried rice, we have um, jollof rice. Okay. And you can have that with either chicken, which is our standard. You can have it with beef. You can have it with gomo, oh. yes, <laughs> and also with uh, a sourced egg. There's also egg. Uh, um, that is also new to me. Even um, the sourced egg. Yes, I'd never tried that until um, the product development um, department came up with it. And I tried it and I realized it's really quite good. Uh -huh. So we have that. And then there's, so there's fried rice, there's jello rice, and there's spaghetti. Fried rice, jello rice, spaghetti, and of course, all the extras. And all the extras. And there's also the trad. If you're not into the for the same uh, price for the same range. price range, okay. we have uh, okra, we have egusi, you can have it with semo, you can have it with um, eba, so all for the same price range, Thank and you. all for a limited period with a free drink. With a free drink, yes, uh, for period. a limited period. Okay. So. All right, so uh, you've heard it. Uh, Tasty has something really exciting for everyone. And uh, it's such a pleasure to have this conversation with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you.